Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are first to get my videos. Yep, it was that time. It was the time that the garbage disposal just decided to stop working. A few times it, it doesn't work. My husband take the Allen key, go on and he twist it, it works. In this case, he did it a few times and then the next couple of days, it just hums. So today he decided to take it apart and troubleshoot to see what we needed, if we could fix it or we had to replace it. Make sure that the power is off. And also make sure you go underneath and unplug, unplug anything you need to unplug the garbage disposal. Also, if you want to test if the outlet is working, put another device in there, plug it in and see if it worked. We did that, the device, it was working and also go to your circuit breaker to fix that if it's not working. We end up taking the Allen key for the second one, went underneath right there in a the little circle and twist it, turn it around. This is a newer one. Turn it around, turn it around. It will not budge. It will not term so the little thing the little red spot to the right you end up um, pressing that little button to kind of reset it that did not work so eventually he took it apart and just to show you what he did so sorry if i don't have a lot of details in the videos but i was also his right hand his right hand helper i'm um, his right hand helper so um, i was holding the camera and you'll see in a few minutes also the flashlight and whatever i needed so this is what we have it was disgusting even if he could fix it, I was like, it's time. But we were afraid that we had to hire someone to come in and we don't want anyone in the house right now with the pandemic. So he ended up taking a butter knife and tried to clean it out. Yes, we threw the butter knife out. It was totally gross, you guys. We've had this installed. This has never um, had needed to replace. We got this since 2008. So anyways, this is the brand. I took a picture of it just in case we had to run the Home Depot. By the way, we did. And so he ended up taking it apart because now we've done all the troubleshooting and we couldn't find anything on the inside that was stop stopping it. So he's like, okay, let me open it and see what was going on. This is going to be gross, you guys. You will see what went wrong. So make sure and every time you do something that it is unplugged and if it is um, still connected to under your sink, make sure that the, the, the electrical part is off. And again, check your circuit breaker. Make sure that the, like, the little plug is working. And then turn the little with the Allen key underneath to see if that's working. Ours won't even turn anymore. And if also do the little red button to reset it to see if that was the case. Make sure everything is off when you unplugged when you do this. So he, this is what we found in ours, guys. That's the seal right there. And he was, I don't know why... I didn't, he didn't wear a glove. It's like it was thinking. So he took my butter knife and started clean around. And again, you guys, I'm not sh teaching you how to do this. They have professional that's showing you on YouTube. And actually, I followed different ones, like 10 different ones, just to get not even to this point. And when we went, we bought a new one and they had directions and we just follow um, the direction. So he ended up cleaning underneath. And that's when we saw the problem right there. There's a hole, you guys. I don't know if because there was a hole water went inside and damaged the motor. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe it was still able to fix. I don't know. But like I said, this is 2001 and we've had this since 2008. So it's been a long, that's the hole right there. So we kind of like said, okay, stop. Hey guys, stop. Take this time to subscribe to my ch channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much. Yeah, we said stop. Let's go to Home Depot. We ran to Home Depot and this is the one we found. It was a three-fourths that we needed. And because I took the picture right away, as I said, just in case, um, let me take a picture and if we have to run to Home Depot. And that's what we did. This is the one we found. We picked it up. It was $144. It was it, it is a little bit heavier than normal. And of course, I got me some flowers and also or a heater in the bathroom went out. That's the one that has the this the suction, the fan, the heater and the light. The heater part went off. So that's gonna be another thing. <laughs> so, anyways, he ended up um taking it out and took these little clip and unhook everything. He had to do this in order to get some wires underneath in order to connect the wires, and then he took of course, you have to take that apart in or in order to take this like I call it a body armor off. So he ended up and eventually started moving it, tweaking it, and it came off. Then he went underneath, and he had to take some wires. Now, mind you guys, make sure you see what comes with your gadget right there because he had to. Sorry for his head. That's where he had to connect some wires, but using some stuff from the old one. So then he just went back and screw everything back on, which is the um the from the older um from what was already underneath the sink and already attached he um he screwed that back on so this the the stuff that came with this was that little part right there along with the screws we didn't use it we just used some older the older one that came with it we just kept it in the basement just in case we had to replace it but before you put that on you have to put on this this part first and 
upside i call it upside down like that you put that on first and then you take the rubber part and then you click it in so guys i'm not teaching how to do this i was just showing our day today and honestly the longest part was really just shopping for the product and of course we took a little detour into the um, plant section and got some beautiful flowers so anyways he did that so I needed to help him also because it was kind of heavy, you guys. So while he was underneath here like this, it was hard for him to line it up, line it up with the sink. It was heavy, and then he had to twist it on, okay? So while he's trying to put connect it to that and twist it, I he's like, can you look up top and see if it's in the sink, like if it's lining up? So what I eventually did was I eventually took his spot, held held it and then he ended up turning it like that and that's how it ended up working then of course he plugged it back in and then um, we checked it so um, he's still fussing with it this is me trying to look in there it's like yeah it's lined up it's lined up it's perfect so anyways this is how it looks it's connected it's plugged in and it's working and it's not as loud like the last one anyways guys that was just our, our adventure wanted to share with you don't forget to subscribe take care and be kind